Welcome to the Vegas Insider Channel here on YouTube. As we break down Saturday's Final Four in New Orleans, the pair of semifinal games, Kevin Rogers with you, and you got four of the biggest names in college basketball taking the court at the Superdome on Saturday. Villanova and Kansas in the first game, followed by Duke and North Carolina, meeting for the first time ever in the NCAA tournament. Let's begin with the first game, Villanova and Kansas. And the Jayhawks favored here after they rallied past Miami to win the Midwest region. And Villanova, they knocked off Houston in a low-scoring game. The Cougars shot just one of 20 from beyond the arc. But Villanova, though, without one of their top players in Justin Moore, suffered an Achilles tear, 15 points a game. He will not play in the Final Four for Jay Wright. And we've seen a big run of unders in the Sweet 16 in the Elite Eight. 11-1 and one to the under in those 12 games. And the expectation is going into a big football stadium, the sight lines, all of that. It may result in another under. But for my best bet in the Villanova-Kansas game on Saturday, I'm going to go the other way and take the over. Number one, Villanova's on a 6-1 and one run to the under. Kansas on a 7-3 and three run to the under. Everybody's going to point to that and say, all right, we have to just go with another under just because. I feel like these teams will score. Kansas definitely can score. Villanova slows the pace down, and with the absence of more, obviously it's going to hurt Villanova's scoring chances. But I do believe that these teams will pick up the pace a little bit. When you see what Kansas has done in the tournament, 83-79, they were held to 66 against Providence and then busted out for 76 against Miami in the Elite Eight. I'm going to take the over between Kansas and Villanova for my first pick on Saturday. Now, take a look at the second game. Duke, North Carolina, Coach K, he continues. Another Final Four for him. First Final Four, obviously, for Hubert Davis and the Tar Heels after he took over as head coach for Roy Williams after all these years. And North Carolina, some big wins so far in the tournament, including knocking out last year's champ Baylor in overtime, also beating UCLA, and they took care of St. Peter's in the Elite Eight. Now, Duke, they picked up several big victories. They avoided Gonzaga, but also knocked out Texas Tech, as well as Arkansas in the Elite Eight. Duke beat up North Carolina in Chapel Hill in the first meeting, 87-67. Never in doubt, and the, uh, the Tar Heels... At that point, it looked like maybe they weren't even a tournament team. In the second matchup, Coach Krzyzewski's final game at Cameron Indoor Stadium, all his former players were there, and yet the Tar Heels, who trailed by two at the half, they came back and they ran out the Blue Devils in the second half, a 94-81 victory for North Carolina. They were getting 11 points in that game, the Tar Heels. This time, Duke just laying a short number of four. For as good as North Carolina has been so far in this tournament, for my best bet, I'm going to lay the points of the Duke Blue Devils here. And again, the Tar Heels, they don't have the pressure on them like Duke has here with Coach Krzyzewski. It could be his final game. We've said that every single round since he's going to retire after the NCAA tournament. But I'm going to lay the points with Duke. I think here they get focused after that loss to North Carolina in the regular season finale. And Duke will advance to the national championship game coming up on Monday night. So for my best bets on Saturday in the Final Four, I'm going to take the over between Villanova and Kansas and lay the points with Duke against North Carolina. Don't forget to check out some of our other videos on our YouTube channel at Vegas Insider Major League Baseball season. Coming up right around the corner next Thursday, we have some division previews there. And also check back Monday for our national championship prediction from New Orleans. I am Kevin Rogers. Thanks a lot for watching. And as always, best of luck with your bets.